auction house. Um, what you need to know right now is how to sell stuff to make money. Um, let's say I've gathered 20 mage weave cloths and I don't need it. So I put it, I go to auctions on the bottom and it has this little create auction tab. I put it here and then I can say whatever price I want. Well, that's your starting price. Let's say um, the minimum bid to win this over 24 hours is a gold, 75. The maximum bid is 5 gold. And that's how you set it up. The problem is, is you aren't the only dumbass who's leveling, I mean, who's selling Mage Weave Cloth. There's a shitload of people selling Mage Weave Cloth. So what you go is you go to the Browse tab, you click on the Name tab, and you shift click, shift click, the name into the box. It'll automatically pop up in there if you shift click it and you click search. And it gives me all the items that are Mage Weave Cloth, or has a name similar. Um, what you do is you usually have single mage weave cloths, and then you go to the stack. The cheapest stack right now is 525 gold. So my stuff is really cheap, the way I'm selling it, you know, for 5 gold. Um, what you need to know is every server is different, every faction is different. Um, these prices change like day to day, week to week, month to month. Different things affect it. Don't worry about it. Just if you want to sell it right now, right away, just list it at the lowest price, which was five twenty five and the starting bid was four seventy five. I'm gonna sell it. Now you might be like, Well, it's cool and I'll see if but uh I have this uh random axe here. Look what the hell is this axe? It's some axe of the whale. And I'm like, there's no price here. Well, a good rule is take your level, like your level in front of your like I'm level forty five right now. I'm going to take that 4 and put it as the price. So, auction. I'm going to put the X in there. You know, here it's starting price, two, two things. What you do is you say, well, I'm level 40, so it's going to put a four gold, 4 gold more than the starting price. Start it at 4 and sell it, buy it out at 6. And that's how you go. That's the general rule. It usually sells some guys like, well, my X sucks, I need a new X. He's going to choose your X. Um, some stats on it make it better than others. Prices change every day, every week, all the time. It's kind of like a l mini stock market. You want to buy low, sell high. Um, best time to sell crap is Tuesday night and Friday night, because that's when everybody kind of starts playing. Like, the Raiders start playing on Tuesdays. Raiders and everybody else kind of starts playing on Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. Worst time to sell is Sunday and Monday because either nobody's playing or everybody else is trying to sell their crap. Just a small rule there because, you know, level your first aid. Um, anything else you need to know about the auction house? If you want to search for crap, um, it's basically listed under what stuff you want. If you're just like, ah, I don't know, I want one-handed axes, and I don't care what level it is. Well, it gives you all the one-handed axes. Then you click usable items and search, and it only gives you the axes you can use. Um, stuff like that. If you want, like, let's say, a void crystal. Crystal. No items found, because well, because I spelled void wrong. I'm a dumbass. I'm truly a dumbass. Void crystal. And it gives you a list of all the stuff that's void crystals. 215 void crystals. That's a shitload of void crystals. Um, what else do you need to know? Got the auction house. Here comes the bank. As you can tell, Thunder Bluff is like a cool city. You click on the banker and then you have your item slots. Here you basically right click it and hops over there. You right click it out and hops back into your bag. Um, you can store your shit anywhere you anywhere there's a banker in the world, you can get your bank. So let's say I was in Ogremar, I'd have the same item slots. Mm -hmm.